Oh, what is going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's Destiny video we're going to take a look at the Crotus and Dark Below raid weapons confirmed from the latest Dark Below trailer. If you guys missed that trailer we basically saw the developers of Destiny talking about Crotus and raid and it shows us a quick glimpse of the weapons we will be getting. What I did was I took screenshots from that short video, I searched high and low for all the details and mods on these weapons and that's what I'm bringing you guys today in today's video. If you guys appreciate it, do drop a like, I do appreciate the support. If you guys are new to my channel and enjoy Daily Destiny, be sure to subscribe. Now the first weapon we're going to take a look at is called the Abyss Defiant and it is an auto rifle. Its description states, we will not go quietly and its first mod is well it's basically a solar damage weapon then we have three sights we have quick draw is agile sight lightning fast handling then we have red dot ors accurate sight for precise fire and then we have red dot oas snapshot sight enhanced target acquisition we then have hip fire this weapon has bonus accuracy when firing from the hip and then we have focus fire when zoomed in this weapon fires slower but causes additional damage that is the same mod we get from the Suros regime and then we have one of five damage upgrades we then have single point sling switch weapons faster and move quicker while aiming we then have perfect balance this weapon has extremely low recoil and then we have lightweight when held this weapon grants plus two character agility then we have lich bane projectiles have a chance to disorient hive wizards crazy then we have one of five damage upgrades and then we have this hive disruptor basically the same thing we got as uh, the oracle disruptor from the vault of glass this is hive disruptor this weapon deals bonus damage to stronger hive enemies and a further four damage upgrades moving on and we're going to go on to the hunger of Crota. now this is a rocket launcher and its brief description is would you define me I am the Eater of Hope. <laughs> Sounds like a tank. It's a solar damage weapon. Um, it's got soft launch, less recoil, penalty to velocity. Then we have uh, linear compensator, more predictable recoil, slight boost to velocity and blast radius, more recoil. And then we have aggressive launch, more predictable recoil, enhanced blast radius, reduced velocity and more recoil. Then we have tracking. Shells fired from this weapon track their targets. I love that on a rocket launcher. Then we have one of five damage upgrades. We have quick draw. This weapon can be drawn unbelievably fast. We have javelin. Increases warhead velocity. And we have heavy payload. Increases warhead blast radius. Then we have cluster bomb. Rockets create cluster bombs when they detonate like a firework badass. Then we have a further four damage upgrades and then we have this Hive Disruptor. This weapon deals bonus damage to stronger Hive enemies. Moving on we have the Light of the Abyss and this is a arc damage weapon. It's a fusion rifle. Um, quick draw IS is its first of three sights. Agile sight, lightning fast handling. Then we have Red Dot OR S1. Precision sight, high zoom in class enhanced range and then we have true sight is flexible sight light with good recoil control strong target acquisition then we have hip fire this weapon has bonus accuracy when firing from the hip we have one of five damage upgrades we have skip rounds ceramic jacketed rounds ricochet on hard surfaces their extreme density lets you carry more rounds in reserve added mass slows down weapon handling we then have enhanced battery increases magazine size and then we have speed reload Reload this weapon quicker. We then have range finder. Aim this weapon increases its effective range. We then have another four damage upgrades and we have hive disruptor. This weapon deals bonus damage to stronger hive enemies. Moving on, we've got the Oversoul Edict, which is a pulse rifle. And its little description is the light of the will of Crota shines down like a vast of inverse sun. Boost! Um, it's a arc damage pulse rifle. Uh, it's got three sights. Steady hand IS, stable sight, optimized for excellent recoil control. We then have red dot OAS, snapshot sight, enhanced target acquisition. And then we have red dot ORES, flexible sight, enhances handling, range, and recoil control. We then have full auto. This weapon can be fired in full auto mode. Beast, I love that in a pulse rifle. We have one of five damage upgrades. We then have snapshot aiming. This weapon is incredibly fast. We then have field scout, maximum ammo capacity. And then we have fit stock. Increases weapon stability. Then we have this 
Dark Breaker. Projectiles will over penetrate through Hive Knight Wall of Darkness, which is basically their shield. We then have a further four damage upgrades, and we have Hive Disruptor. This weapon deals bonus damage to stronger Hive enemies. Moving on, and we have Song of Ear Yup, which is a machine gun, and its description reads It is the Song of Endings, badass. It's an arc damage machine gun. We have Smart Drift Control, Predictable and Controllable Recoil Penalty to Range. We have Accurized Ballistics, More Range and Impact, Increased Recoil. And then we have Aggressive Ballistics, More Predictable Recoil, Enhanced Impact, Shorter Range and More Recoil. We then have Dark Breaker Projectiles, will over penetrate through Hive Night Wall of Darkness. We have one of five damage upgrades. We then have High Caliber Rounds, Oversized Rounds, Built to stagger targets and leave them reeling. Their mass makes a weapon harder to handle. We then have Flared Magma. Reload this weapon even faster. And then we have Hammer Forged. Improve range and accuracy. We then have Grenadier. Kills with this weapon reduce the cooldown of your grenade. We have what, uh, a further 4 damage upgrades. And we have Hive Disruptor. This weapon deals bonus damage to stronger Hive enemies. Moving on, and we have Sword Breaker, which is a shotgun. Its description reads, if you're going to face down a knight with an Ascendant Blade, bring an Ascendant Gun Boost. Okay, it's a void damage shotgun. Um, it's got smooth ballistics, less recoil penalty to range. We have accurized ballistics, more range and impact, increased recoil, and we have field choke. More range and impact, increased recoil. We then have Life Stealer. Three rapid kills in succession will heal a small amount and start shield regeneration. Badass. We then have one of five damage upgrades. We then have Flared Magma. Reload this weapon even faster. Hammer Forge, improve range and accuracy. And we have a lightweight. When had this weapon grants plus two, character agility. We then have final round, the last round. In a magazine deals bonus damage. We then have a further four damage upgrades. And we have Hive Disruptor. This weapon deals bonus damage to stronger Hive enemies. Moving on, and we have. The word of Crota, hand cannon. Its description reads, there was life and he spoke into it and it was silent and lived no more, beast. And then it's a void damage hand cannon, beastly. Um, free sights, steady hand IS, stable sight, optimized for excellent recoil control. Fast draw IS, standard sight, a lightweight design, good for recoil control. And then we have Sure Shot IS, Snapshot Sight, excellent handing, superb target acquisition. We have Zen Moment, causing damage with this weapon increases its stability. We have one of five damage upgrades. We have Speed Reload, reload this weapon even quicker. We have Hammer Forged, improved range and accuracy. And we have high caliber rounds. Oversized rounds built to stagger targets and leave them reeling. Their mass makes a weapon harder to handle. We then have Crota's Pet. Three rapid precision hits will return one round to the mag. Badass. Uh, we have a further four damage upgrades, and then we have Hive Disruptor. This weapon deals bonus damage to stronger Hive enemies. And then we have Murmur, the last weapon confirmed in this trailer to be a red weapon. I do actually believe this evolves into the Necroclasm also. Its brief description reads There is strength in understanding duality. Be not behold to one path, but blaze your trail with fire and lightning monster um its first mod is aspect swap this weapon can select between two different types of elementary damage 